Welcome to Back to the Past with yours truly, Jim Johnson. Today we have the pleasure of interviewing Sir Thomas Button. Everyone please give him a warm welcome. Hello chap. Thank you very much. It is an honor to have been invited to your show today. It is our pleasure. So, Sir Thomas, what exactly did you do to become so famous today? I am so glad you asked Jim. In 1612 I was chosen to command an expedition to Hudson Bay in search of the Northwest Passage to India. Did you find what you were looking for? We sailed in two ships through the Hudson Strait when I discovered a river, which I named Port Nelson. I named this river after a great friend of mine who passed away at sea. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend, but it is fantastic to hear you found much more than you were looking for. Thank you. We were lucky enough to anchor on land that we then got to claim as our own territory. This land today is called Manitoba. You have had such a huge impact on many generations since you passed. How does it feel to have such an amazing impact? It is an honor and a privilege to know the expedition I commanded changed the lives of so many people. No kidding. Thomas, something has been bothering me since the beginning of the interview. What's your secret? You died in 1634. How do you manage to look so sharp? Tender love and care from my wide and family gym. Thanks for asking. If you don't mind me asking, who funded this whole expedition, Button? It was the Naval Service of the Crown. Since I joined the Navy they were intrigued to have me command an expedition. Did you feel pressure to go and lead the expedition, and were you nervous because of your young age? Ha ha no not at all Jim. I was honored to be asked to command the expedition and being asked at such a young age was just more honor. My age never had any effect on the decisions I made. Well thanks so much for being here Sir Thomas. That's all the time we have for today. Tune in next week when we interview John Cabron back to the future. Thank you for having me Jim.